Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So I've been doing a lot of modeling lately and uh, that's, that's why I haven't put out so many videos. And uh, something that I've always struggled with before is uh, how to figure out your revenue growth and your uh, EBITDA margin growth. You know, on one side you have your revenue that's growing as you expand and uh, as you as you ramp up uh, your performance. And on the other hand, you also have some some like uh, economies of scale when, where you start to optimize expenses. So your EBITDA margin or your margin also grows as a percentage. And uh, a lot of people just uh, go ahead and uh, and just take, let's say, that's how much revenue I'm gonna get and just grow that by some percentage or something like that. But in a lot of uh, scenarios, you can actually get to a more detailed and, and more meaningful approach where uh, you can split that and, and do a simple ramp up in Excel just to outline exactly how this uh, this thing is gonna grow. And I have an example for you today where uh, we're, we're starting to operate in new locations and uh, so each new location we have a target for revenue but we're not just bringing this in whenever each location is brought in we're also looking at uh, how much time it takes to ramp up to this target revenue and we're also taking a look at, uh, at how our EBITDA percentage ramps up and this is of course adjusted based on which year the new location comes into play it sounds much more complicated than it actually is. It's so simple to do it in Excel. So let's just go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll show you the example. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the content, thumbs up will be awesome and a sub to the channel will be amazing. Let's go ahead, open Excel and dive straight in. So let's start by applying some formatting. It's gonna be our revenue and EBITDA ramp up. I'm gonna call the sheet name ramp up. And let me zoom in a bit so it's easier for you guys to see. Let's start by setting some uh, styles here. So bar at the top and uh, I always like to have the ears at top and I'm gonna show you a cool trick. So let's say we're starting at 2021, control one to bring the format cells and I want this to be custom. And what I want before general is to use calendar year like that. And uh, doing this by formatting allows me to just have the next cell be this plus one, both this one and carry it over to the side. Let's expand those a bit. So this one. Okay, so we're gonna start with our assumptions. It's going to be a separate section and uh, what um, what I usually do is have my assumptions on top and then at the bottom we can start building whatever uh, we need in our um, model. So let's say if we need an income statement, this will be the next section here, so on and so forth. Okay, so um, the way we want to look at our revenue is by adding new locations to our existing portfolio. So we'll have our new location assumptions and then our total locations. Let's bolt this one, format it as a total. And um, I've already mentioned in a lot of videos, but I always like to like numbers that are inputted, so constant numbers are always blue in my files to make it much easier. To, to track everything. So let's say we are opening one new location this year, three next year, five, 10, 15, something like that. And each year our total locations are total locations from the previous year plus our uh, new locations. Also something else that I do is uh, whenever I have those headers, I would usually just have this linked to this and use F4 to just fix the row number. Copy that to the side. And now whenever I need a new header, I can just go down here, copy this one, and it has the ears in it. Okay, back to here. So we want to get to a target annual revenue. And our target annual revenue, just make it blue as well, is 5 million 
euro. The first thing we need is to ramp up the number of locations. So we need to know how many locations in each year are in their first year, second year, third year, because this is gonna help us to ramp up the revenue. So let's do a locations ramp up. It's gonna separate it line and here we have locations in year one oops locations in year one drop that to year five and then separate that with the line it's in then those so in the first year we'll have one location that's going to be in its year one in the second year in 2022, we'll have three locations that are going to be in their first year. So you can pretty much drag this to the side. And this shows us in each year, as our model progresses, how many locations are in their year one, which is the same as our new locations. From then on, so this one location in year one, next year will be in year two. So this is going to be equal to this. Then it's going to be in year three, in year four, and year five. And you can do pretty much the same for the rest. So, for example, those five locations that come in in 2023 will be in their year one, then they're gonna be in year two in 2024, and so on. This is how this ramp up works. The next thing we need to do is our revenue ramp up. Okay, so revenue ramp up. Well, this is year one. Bring that down. We're gonna set this as a percentage of the target. So we're gonna say in each year, we're gonna hit a certain percentage of our target. Those are gonna be assumptions that you're gonna type in and I'm also gonna format them as percentage. So let's say the first year we're gonna be at 20, 40, then we're gonna jump to 65, 90 and 100%. What this means is that each location in their first year will only generate 20% of the target annual revenue. And this is gonna grow as the locations get more established. Let's calculate a reference revenue here, multiplied by our target annual revenue. I'm gonna fix this one, bring it down with control D. And the way to calculate revenue is we grab the corresponding number of locations and multiplied by the revenue per location in this year. I'm gonna fix this to keep it to the same column. And now what we can do is we can copy it to the side with Control R and then copy it down with Control D. And what this shows us is um, that, let's say those five locations that come in in 2023, the first year they generate 20% of the target revenue, so it's five million. But in their second year, when they move down here, they're already generating 40% of the target revenue, which is 2 million, so it's 10 million revenue. All we need to do now to calculate our revenue is add a total here. And this is gonna be the sum of those. Copy it to the side. An easy way to, um, to ramp up our revenue per location and uh, per specific ramp that gets us to our target percentage of uh, revenue for each year to our uh, end goal of uh, annual revenue of 5 million. And it's much easier to follow and it's much easier to adjust because let's say uh, we decide that um, that we just wanna like start ramping up faster here. So I wanna bring this to eight locations instantly see the change and it's much easier. The other thing that's also easier to do when you have it that way is we may decide that it only take us three years. So maybe we're 33 here, 66 here, and here already at 100% to cross our revenue much faster. Okay, let's go back to what we had. And uh, now let's look at our EBITDA ramp up. So just copy this. And this is gonna be our EBITDA ramp up. EBITDA percentage. 
and we don't need this one. For our EBITDA percentage, we're gonna start at 20%, but as our uh, location grows and more people learn about it and it, um, it ramps up, you're gonna get certain economies of scale and uh, we are predicting that uh, this is gonna increase our EBITDA to 26% over five years. To calculate this, just grab the number, uh, the percentage of EBITDA and fix that on the column side and multiply it by our corresponding revenue here. Copy this to the sides, copy it to the bottom, and this is our EBITDA. Grab this, paste it here. You can just call this total EBITDA. EBITDA, and because the structure matches, those formulas should work as well. And it's interesting that uh, now, if you see, we have a really gradual increase of both revenue, EBITDA, but also of our margin. So if let's say we calculate our margin down here, you're gonna see that we start at 20%, but as our locations ramp up and as we grow, we go up to a blended EBITDA margin of 22.4%. And remember that uh, we're rising to 26 here, but that's in five years, only the first one location from this year is gonna be at a 26% EBITDA. All the rest are gonna be at lower uh, percentages and this gives us the blended 22.4%. There you have it, much simpler to understand, much easier to, to play around with, to, to adjust assumptions than to just have, let's say, a revenue that's growing at a certain percentage each year. So this is a, this tells a better story and it's easier to communicate to, to potential partners. I've been using this technique, uh, of course, you can, you can have varying uh, input. So let's say if you're uh, strictly uh, looking at a product, you can go by uh, not only by locations, but also by how how much volume of your product is going to be selling uh, uh, and how this ramps up over time. But uh, this is pretty much the level of detail that I go in when I have to prepare like a five uh, year plan or, or just a quick financial model. And um, as you saw, it's really simple to do. It takes just a few more minutes, but but once you actually start working on the model and on the assumptions and discussing them with the team, it's much easier for everyone to, to figure out exactly how this revenue number grows over time, what are the drivers behind that, and it makes the model uh, much more coherent and uh, much easier to present and much better overall. So thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.